Hi, it's me, Tirtha Rajbandari. Today, I have chosen another problem of probability, which is going to solve by using Mathematica. The given problem is two continuous random variable x and y has the joint probability function given by f of x y is equal to k times x plus y go whole q for x lies between 1 and 4 and y lies between 1 and 3 then we are required to solve some problems here that is first to find the value of k second one probability at these two ranges and mean variance of x mean variance of y covariance of x and y and probability graph of x and y so to solve this problem first of all we need to consider whether the given variables are continuous or discrete variables i have already solved in case of the discrete variable x and y but today we are going to solve in the case of continuous random variable so for this let us define the probability density function pd is equal to probability distribution probability distribution and that is given as the function x k times k times x plus y and its power is q comma the range of x is 1 to 4 and the y varies y vary from 1 to 3 okay so this one is the probability distribution yes that can be seen here and let us check this adf pd comma x comma y okay let's see here so this is the probability density function of two continuous random variable uh, which one is the joint probability function uh, so to find to find the value of k here uh, what is to do is to assume the total probability and to assume the total probability uh, we need to integrate this function because uh, this is the joint probability function of two continuous random variable x and y so let us choose a integration sign that is definite integrals that can be chosen from palace basic method system and i'll go to that advanced option and you can see this sign here and uh, you need to substitute the lower and upper limit and the expression and the uh, variable of expression sorry variable of integration should be written here so lower limit is that minus infinite upper limit is infinite and the case sensitive here is that there are given two variables random variables so this is the integration for the first variable x and we need to choose the another integration sign for the next variable so let us choose another definite integration sign and this integration sign can be taken using <coughs> shortcut key 2 for this you need to choose a key escape key and then write d for the definite integration and d i and t t and again x key so you can see this sign here and here also write the lower limit of uh, random variable y that is minus infinite and infinite also can be uh, chosen from using you know that shortcut key you write down s key and write down infinite and the short form of infinite i and f and then again x key so you can see the infinite here is also choose infinite from here for you so for the sake of convenience and expression what is the expression is that expression is this you just copy this and paste it here paste and the variable of integration first is x and another is y so again you can choose another d by using dd and x key again and the another variable is y so shift enter uh, we get this 
and to find the value of k we need to solve this expression by letting the total probability is 1 and assigning the variables of solving so to find the value of the given constant k here is the constant k is given which is as the scalar multiplication of the given function so you can see you can give your solve command to find the value of k and just you copy this expression from here and assign the copy paste and now you just give equal sign and total probability is assumed to be 1 and the variable to be solved is k so we have got the value of k that is the scalar constant k uh, is 2 by 12 69 and if you want to, to if you want to see the value uh, in decimal forms and give uppercase n and shift into and next question is to find the probability at x lies between 2 and 6 and y 0 and 3 so let us you just copy this sorry what's going wrong let's become paste so you just copy this and you paste it here and just change the range of the or the lower limit or upper limit of uh, the variables and lower limit is what uh, 2 to 6 2 and the upper limit is 6 here also lower, lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 3 sorry 3 and let's see and you need to substitute the value of k here because k is not defined in this probability density function we have just got the value of k so let us uh, reestablish the value of k here you just copy this and paste it here okay the last and normal ones can be seen sorry what's gonna run okay so this one is the value or the probability at uh, x lies between 2 and 6 and y lies between 0 and 3 now next question is to find the mean and variance of x uh, so for this give me a command and pd probability density and you just substitute the value of k sorry you just copy and paste it here and give you a slash sign so we can give the mean of x and y this one is the mean of x and this one is the mean of y and similarly to find the variance give variance command and uh, pre probability density and slash to establish the value of k you can choose from here you copy this and paste it down okay so you can get the variance of x and y from here this one is the variance of x and this one is the variance of y again to find the covariance you give the covariance command pd and uh, you just uh, again establish the value of k from here copy this and paste it down and shift enter now you can see the covariance of x and y now the last problem is to plot the probability graph of x and y so to plot this graph you can give the plot command plot and this one's 3d function so plot 3d and what is to be plot here is that this this is to be plot copy paste and uh, but the value of k is also established also here because k is not defined in this case and the value of k we have seen from here is that copy and paste first this one is the value of k and give comma and we need to define the range of x and y so x where i from 1 to 4 and y where i from 1 to 3 and close brackets and set it i think you can see the value of or oh, sorry uh, the probability graph of uh, x and y continuous random variable x and y so this one is the graph of the continuous random variable x, x and y we're having 
the joint probability function this and uh, we can do anything in this graph uh, so first thing is I'm gonna do filling so I'm going to do your filling command filling come on and let us choose it from bottom the note earlier you just see this okay this graph is filled from the bottom and the surface and if you don't want to see this maze then do maze false and shift enter now this miss you can't see the miss here yeah. yes and if you wanna see the miss again and then return here too now I think you can see the misses again here so we can do many things in this graph by giving different commands such as color style and plot range and you know plot ratio and uh, aspect ratio so many things you can do here uh, to manipulate this graph and if you want to uh, make a large of this graph then you can zoom by dragging in the graph so we have solved the given problem um, of Two continuous random variables x and y having joint probability function this thank you for watching this